My wife is cheating on me since six months and my daughter knew it. NSFW. All this happened a few hours ago, I'm in my car right now, near a little cliff I like. Yesterday morning, while checking on my wife's phone to get the pictures we took of our last trip to Reunion Island when I noticed an album which was password locked. Easy to unlock since I knew the password and I saw countless of pictures and videos of my wife getting railed in god knows how many positions. First vid is dated from 6 months ago, may even started before that. I wanted to puke, I felt so disgusted I swear I heard my heart crush in that exact moment. I emailed me some of the pictures and videos then went to work without saying nothing. I thought we had the perfect family life, happily married for 8 years, a beautiful 16 daughter, a beautiful house with no mortgage, a happy sex and romantic life. I used to take her every weekend on a date, every time something different. I make so much effort for all this and she just chose to break everything. Yesterday and today I was somewhat on autopilot. Felt like nothing was real anymore. The first thing that was running through my mind was the code of the safe where I put my gun and pictures of my daughter smiling. After work I just went to drink with coworkers, I drank so much I had to stay at their place and only came back home today to a worried wife and daughter. While they were lashing on me about worrying them by not saying anything and stuff, I just calmly asked my wife why she cheated. At first she played dumb and outraged before I told her I saw the vids. At this point they looked horrified and my daughter started to cry, I was about to calm her when she said sorry repeatedly. I wish it was not true but I understood immediately. She knew. I asked her and she said yes. I felt like getting stabbed, the stuff around started to spin and I just grabbed my keys and left while they were shouting for me to stay and say something. It's strange but it all feels so loudly calm now. And here I am, with the only thing on my mind being my safe's code, and the height of the cliff in front of me. If I ever run my car down it I hope they'll have fun with my insurance money. Update. First of all, I'd like to thanks everyone who messaged me and gave me advices, everyone except the one asking me to share the vids because it was, hot. It allowed me to calm down and thinks more clearly. It will mostly be the only update. I came back home on Monday morning, my daughter hadn't slept and apparently saw my post on TikTok. So I had the chance to talk with her alone before her mother woke up. I told her that I love her no matter what but to be honest to my questions or I'll completely disappear. To summarize that's what I know so far, she knew maybe one month after the start of the affair because she caught them in our house. Her mother begged her to not tell in exchange for a car, lot more of pocket money, agreeing to let her go on a trip to Europe with her friends at the end of the year and convince me because it's something I adamantly said no to and to always take her side on everything. So the upgrade in their relation wasn't love-based but interest-based. She also told me that her mother did it for the thrill and out of boreness of the habits of our daily life, that she agreed to stop everything at first but made my daughter meet the man. So for the last five months my daughter was on good terms with both her mom and this man, going to places like restaurant when I was on business trip and stuff. She told me she got along with her mother because it was the first time she ever gives her that much attention since she was a baby. And because she told her she felt much more happy and flourished. I don't know the man and I hope on everything that I have that I won't ever come across him. Then my wife woke up, I will skip the details of all the crying, how she will stop everything, go to counseling, blame me before apologizing etc etc. It was utterly pathetic and painful for me. How can someone I love so much could do that to me? She told me how she would let me monitor all her stuff, don't go anywhere without me and stuff. I just told her that I wasn't a cell guard. Then grabbed some stuff, all the stuff in my safe and just drove off. Spent the last two days parked near a bar, drinking until I either pass out on the front desk or get thrown out and sleeping in my car. My boss got so worried he spent the two days looking for me, he took me at his home to let me rest and put me away from any harmful things or alcohol. I haven't eaten three days, I woke up not long ago and sober enough to think and write. I will probably be put in psych ward for a few days, as agreed with my boss and her wife and their doctor because my behavior is auto-destructive and I'm aware of it. He also hid my gun, so I won't do something stupid. I don't know what to do, I don't feel like I have the strength to keep going anymore. For the people who told me to go back to my parents or family, I have none. I grew up in the French equivalent of foster care. Friends I truly have are living abroad, have their own family and we only exchange letters for New Year, don't have much contact since I got married 8 years ago. To be honest, the only thing I plan other than ending myself is to drive my car as far as I can and completely disappear. Left everything behind until my body finally give up somewhere in the woods. Getting a bullet wasn't as hurtful as this whole situation. For the money, we don't have a joint account, my wife never worked and I always pay for everything. The house as well. So I just cut her the access to my account for now. For now, I can't see them without wanting to harm myself. As much as I love my daughter, I can't help but feel betrayed. 
Everything seems so destroyed it feels like beyond repair. My will to live and quit the army was meeting my wife and having my daughter. I got robbed of it so what is left for me? Sorry for the long rant, at least knowing that I won't be missed if I disappear make the whole thing a bit better.